All right, welcome back to the Nintendo Switch 2 Hopes and Wishes series. Last time we had the first episode come out where we talked about the Joy-Cons and what the Joy-Cons could be like for a next generation system. As we're all talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 right now, it's a very hot topic as a lot of people are looking forward to Nintendo's next generation system. And so I decided to have a little mini series where we're gonna be taking a look at different aspects of the system and what we would like to see change for them in terms of a next generation version. So like I said, the first video Video was about the Joy-Cons and what Joy-Cons could be like on a next generation Nintendo Switch. So if you haven't seen that video, there should be a little eye up in the corner right now. You can definitely click on that or tap on that if you want to go and check out that video. But I'll also put it in the outro of this video and the description if you want to go and check it out after you're done watching this one. But today's video is going to be about the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller as this has been a controller that a lot of people have widely loved and it's a very good controller. I still think it's one of the best controllers that I've ever used but we're going to be talking about what they could do to improve this for a next generation version of the Pro Controller on a Switch 2. So getting right into it, really my most wanted change for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller in terms of a next generation version is having the Pro Controller finally come with some type of headphone jack so that you can put in a headset or put in some headphones and be able to have the audio from your TV come through the controller and out through the headphones on there so that way you can still be able to play your games on the TV while having the audio come into your headphones. This has been something that you can do on PlayStation and Xbox controllers for a pretty long time. And of course, those ones have like voice chat built into the system and everything. But even if Nintendo doesn't have like a super intricate voice chat system, which still is another problem in of its own that I'll talk about in a future video. But I do think that just having the audio from your TV come through the headphones is something very nice, especially like, let's say if you're playing late at night and you don't want to have like loud sounds disturbing anybody, it will be really nice to still be able to play the game on the TV and just have the audio in headphones. Another change I really want to see are with the triggers. So right now the triggers that we have on the Switch Pro Controller as well as the Nintendo Switch themselves are digital triggers, meaning that they just register as one button. So you either press it or you don't press it. But a lot of games actually use analog triggers. And these have been the triggers that we've had on like PlayStation controllers and Xbox controllers for a pretty long time where analog triggers can be held down and they have different kind of levels depending on like how much pressure you give onto the triggers. And especially with like the PlayStation 5 having like the super like haptic feedback with like the really cool triggers that it has you can do some really amazing things with that but just in general having triggers that I feel like you can push down with different levels would be very nice especially for a lot of third-party games that utilize having those types of triggers like if you're taking a bow and arrow and you're pulling it back you can kind of like push down on the trigger to pull back the bow for like racing games and things like that you have like the acceleration basically like the pedal is like depending on how much you press down on the trigger that's how fast your car goes even in shooter games like the more you push down on it the faster your gun shoots out and stuff like I think it's definitely something that a lot of developers use so Nintendo should definitely use that with their next generation system also. Now in terms of the actual build quality, I do feel like the Pro Controllers are made really well. I don't really see my Pro Controller like cracking or breaking or anything like that. Like I'm still using my Pro Controller that I got with my day one Nintendo Switch back in 2017 and it works perfectly fine. The battery life on this controller is actually really amazing too. Like this controller, like you can literally charge it and then it's good for like three or four weeks basically until you have to charge it again. So the Switch Pro Controller has amazing battery life. I don't really even need to see a huge change to that, but if they can improve upon that that would be even better too really the only thing is that even though this hasn't been a problem for me I'm not going to pretend like it doesn't exist because I have seen other people who have this issue and that is even the pro controller sticks seem to apparently have drifting issues so my pro controller like I said from 2017 still works perfectly fine but for some people I know they've said like even their pro controller after using it for a really long time it can start to drift just like with the joy cons so I am hoping that they can fix that with having more kind of premium sticks or just better quality quality sticks now for the pro controller with their next system and then also the joy cons because drifting is really just a bad thing that shouldn't happen. Now, I tweeted about this on my Twitter as well, so I put up a tweet here saying, Episode 2 of the Nintendo Switch 2 Wishes series will be coming tomorrow. This time, we'll be taking a look at the Pro Controller. This controller is widely loved, but if it were to get a next-gen version, what would you like changed with it? Reply and you could be in the video. So, let's take a look at some of your replies down here. We've got Daniel here saying, I'm the type of person who loves to play while using headphones, and the Switch Pro Controller currently doesn't allow me to do that, so adding a headphone jack would be a huge game-changer for me, so I 
I would absolutely love to see that. And yeah, I already mentioned that headphone jack, especially having that for like voice chat and just playing the game from your TV and having the audio come through there would be very nice for a lot of people. So totally agree with you there. We've got Mr. Yashi saying there honestly isn't too much that I would change, but I think of uh, if I think of some, it would be mainly adding analog triggers and improving the D-pad. Yeah, so analog triggers, I already talked about that as well. D-pad, I actually forgot to mention. That is something that's true. Like, the D-pad for the Pro Controller on the Switch isn't really the best. Seems like a lot of you guys are saying that too. Like, even Diego here saying better D-pad. Just use the Wii U uh, D-pad. That one was great. I do feel like for the Wii U and 3DS generation, they had some really good D-pads on, like, the 3DS, uh, like, Excel. And, like, I guess even, like, the new Nintendo 3DS had some pretty good D-pads as well. And and even like the actual like Wii U controller, if you had the Wii U Pro controller, like the one that looked like this, the D-pad on this thing was really, really good. So I, I don't know what what happened from like them going from this D-pad to then just having the one that we have on the, on the Switch Pro controller. So I do agree in that sense, like there could definitely be a better D-pad. Uh, Darky saying analog triggers, slightly longer battery, maybe slightly lower pr uh, price, and not prone to drifting. So yeah, drifting, I definitely agree, you shouldn't be there. Analog triggers too. Longer battery life would be nice, but even just the one that we have on the on the Switch Pro Controller right now is really amazing. Like, I mean, I have to charge that one, like, once by the time I have to charge my, like, PS5 controller, like, three or four times. So it's really nice there. Uh, I honestly hope they go with the Xbox if it ain't broke don't fix it mentality for the Pro Controller because the current one is really good with HD rumble. The only thing that I would want is analog triggers and reducing the chances of stick drift. Yeah, analog triggers I feel like it's just necessary for a lot of games. Butter is saying put analog triggers on it and better D-pad. Yeah, it seems like a lot of you guys are just saying better D-pad, better analog triggers and stuff and then having headphone jacks as well. Supa saying analog triggers, headphone jack. Lenu saying the controller itself is perfect and I would love if they create new special edition designs since the original one had the Smash one, the Splatoon 2 and 3 editions and the Xenoblade 2 one and the list stops there if I recall correctly. I think those are the only ones they had but then they also had a tears of the kingdom one that came out last year but you're definitely right like they don't have that many special editions for the pro controller so maybe they can do that maybe having some better color options and stuff too so i could see them doing that Mega is saying, I think a change that they should make is maybe making the center buttons a bit bigger and probably changing the shape of the L and R buttons. I think that they're fine, but they could be a bit better. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they could definitely be improved a little bit. Uh, I love this controller. The big buttons are perfect for my fat thumbs and it fits better in the hands than the PlayStation or Xbox controllers. Yeah, I mean, I do know it's very widely loved, but there's definitely a couple of small little things that they could tweak with it. And then I feel like it would be perfection. Um... Regulus King saying, honestly, the three things are really just change the D-pad, drifting issues, and more colors and versions to get. So yeah, D-pad is, is definitely a big one that I feel like a lot of people would like to see changed. Uh, analog triggers, better D-pad, back buttons, and maybe a turbo button, but that, that would actually never happen because it's Nintendo. Yeah, turbo buttons, I feel like you're just going to have to wait for uh, third-party controllers. But analog triggers and better D-pad, I feel like those can definitely happen. J Dog saying better D pad, uh, analog triggers, then a tweak the D pad, kill the drift, and we're golden. Yeah, I mean, really just D pad and analog triggers, and then headphone jack. Like, those are like the three things that I feel like they should change. Uh, we've got Renegade here saying, overall, not much. Just give me a better feel. Give me a headphone jack, please. So, yeah, it seems like that's really kind of just what a lot of people are saying. Analog triggers, headphone jack, D-pad, it seems like. So, yeah, better D-pad. looks like that's pretty much what a lot of you guys are saying here. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I can agree with as well. Pretty much everything else is really nice. So, yeah, I'm sorry I can't read through all of these because there's so, so many of these here. But, yeah, I mean, it seems like a lot of you guys do have a similar kind of idea of just having better D-pad, headphone jack, and then maybe just having analog triggers. So, yeah, I mean, those are pretty much all of the responses. Thank you guys so much for all of them. And remember, if you ever want to be featured in videos like this, just go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Actual Arrow. But yeah, overall, I do feel like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is a very amazing controller. It is really comfortable and ergonomic as well. I like having the misaligned sticks too. I feel like it's better having joysticks like that than having them next to each other like on the PS5 controller. Just in general, I feel like there's just a couple of small little tweaks that they could do and it could honestly become one of the most perfect controllers ever made. So I guess we'll have to see what they decide to do for the next gen version of it if we're going to be getting one on the Switch 2.
But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well as I'm definitely going to have some more videos talking about the Switch 2 as the information comes out. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about all of this. What would you like to see change for the Nintendo Switch 2 Pro Controller if it were to get a new version? What are some tweaks that you would like to see? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. But if you don't have anything to say about this, just comment your favorite emoji down below for some engagement. I would really appreciate it. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrows so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.